So in addition to my Speedoino tuning guide, I wanna share some insights about tuning in general and I have some important points I want to explain as well. One of the first ones we're going to discuss today is about copying maps. Well, there are a lot of people that think, well, if I have the same engine parts or engine setup as somebody else, I can just copy their map uh, and it will work on my car. While that is true to an extent, maybe at island part load, the issue with that is every engine is going to be different no matter what. Uh, somebody could be running the same components, same exact components, same injectors, maybe same, even same compression ratio to a T. Any engine is going to be different, not only hardware wise, because obviously not every part is going to be exactly 100% the same. Not every build is going to be 100% the same. Not every exhaust, not every uh, intercooler pipe. You cannot uh, use the same map for a different car that has the same components. If you, for example, look at a few components, even injectors can vary about three to 4% while within the batch they might be the same, a batch to batch variation of three to four percent might be possible. So that's already three to four percent in fueling that might be different. You could say, well, yes, if I have a Lambda control on, that might help with that. Well, yeah, that could be true, but there's still other factors you have to consider. Fuel pressure regulators, they are also going to be minimally different not only in the base pressure, but also if you are running different boost pressures, if your atmospheric pressure is different, or for example, if your engine rebuild is maybe older than the other guy's engine and it has less compression on a few cylinders maybe. So that could also affect the fueling by quite a lot and also could affect timing. If for example, your engine is healthier, then you might not get as much timing out of it as the other guy. And timing is another thing. While if you have the same trigger setup on two engines, the trigger wheel on an engine itself is maybe one or two degrees off from engine to engine. That could also be the case because the bolt holes are not exact to the bolt diameter. So there is and gonna be some variance and this is also why I tell everybody to check their engine timing with a timing light always. This is why stock engines are so good at reading sensors and then in a closed loop scenario editing stuff basically on the fly because newer engines have short term fuel trims and long term fuel trims and for example, if the Lambda sensor notices that the engine is, for example, too lean in one part, it will, or more often on a short-term fuel trim, it will save that on a long-term fuel trim. So you can see that with a programmable ECU, while you might have those capabilities as well, they are not as precise, especially with the fuel trims on most budget ECUs, those are just not really the case and you have to use auto-tune and as a replacement for long-term fuel trims and depending depending on your engine setup it just might be a bit different no matter if you have these same components or not that's just something i wanted to get out to you because that's important and i think that some people are in the opinion that they can just copy a map from somebody they have uh, seen or values they have seen like a fuel table or an ignition table and just use them for their car and uh, it's just gonna magically work which is not the case so i just wanted to get that out there otherwise i wish you a nice day and goodbye